Oh, hi. I didn't hi. see you there. We did not expect that. What? Uh, you guys just, um, I was just adjusting Yannick's microphone and it was a little bit, uh, got a little bit steamy. It was very intimate. It was, uh, anyway, that's enough. Uh, so <laughs> someone clipped that. Well, you know, uh, it's going to be one of those streams, guys. Yeah. Uh, like we said earlier, if you were in chat, you will know that we don't have a release date for you. Yeah. We don't know it, so we don't have it. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. So update 1.6 and last 10 have been sent to first parties, so Microsoft and Sony, uh, for submission, which means yeah. they are basically reviewing them, making sure that like they work fine and all of that. Mm. Uh, until we get a confirmation and a go from them, we cannot release them. So that's where we are now. Exactly. I mean, it's easier with Uplay because we literally just go over there and like go, guys, yeah. guys, can we, uh, yeah. can we do it? So basically uh, what happened is that after, uh, after the PTS closed, we uh, kept working on it a bit. We like, did some bug fixing and uh, mm -hmm. some like, final tweaks and final adjustments. So that took some days. Then we created a final build, sent this build, first tested it internally, Build is good. Now we send it to uh, first parties. They review it, and once they give the go, then we can uh, we can roll it out. Perfect. All right. Uh, so it no does date. it does take some time, guys. Uh, I know that's like it's frustrating, and it seems like someone asked, "How long does it take?" Uh, it can take some time. I don't know exactly how long does it normally take. It depends on how it goes. It depends. Uh, but it's been sent, so we'll we'll, we'll have to yep. wait and see. Uh, maintenance this morning, what happened there? I mean, it seemed pretty standard, right? Yeah, it was a, just a very basic maintenance, uh, doing some, you know, data uh, dump and these kind of things. Mm. But yeah, nothing, no game changes, no tweaks, nothing. It's so. one of those days where we're just like you guys, sitting and, <laughs> and waiting. But we are close to 5 million views on the channel, which is cool because at that point, Peter said that I can give away a bunch of stuff. What, sure. what can we give away? What we can give away? Mm. Cups. Cups. We can give away hoodies. Hoodies. T-shirts. Wow. We have we have a cup here. Is it this one? It yeah. is going to be that one. Oh, that one. I, oh, we exactly can share it. that one. Okay. Oh, it's no, not going to be the, You have the microphone. That's I can I can do it. I can reach. Professional stand. Don't do what? that at home. <laughs> All right. So, Yannick. Yes. Do tell me, what changes? <laughs> <laughs> what changes will we have between PTS4 and when people finally experience? <laughs> the live version of 1.6 and Last Stand? Mm, there shouldn't be much changes. So it's okay. mostly uh, update 1.6 and Last Stand is going to be mostly what you experienced on PTS4. Uh, PTS4, right. yeah, for those of you that could play on the PTS. Uh, so we have a few, like, you know, some more bug fixing, a few final tweaks. Uh, we did something about, you know, the dead eye and all that, which were the, like, the final mm. things that showed up at the end of the PTS. Cool. Uh, but apart from that, it's going to be in terms of balancing and all that, it's going to be very much uh, the same as PTS4. Yep. No big changes. Someone said, and I want to acknowledge this, yay, 5 million views. I agree. Um, but that was sarcastic because you're saying, please, uh, who gives a shit about the med kit delay? We do. And that's one of the things that um, I think I wrote it down in there that we're um, investigating. Lots of reports of mm -hmm. lag from the community. We've yeah. seen it. We've experienced it. It's not, not a thing. Yeah. So we want to make sure that that is uh, addressed. Yeah. And a lot of the conversations we've been having in the office have been surrounding that. So I've yeah. been running upstairs and mm -hmm. what's going on? What's going on? So we are aware mm -hmm. that server performance and uh, lag, uh, you know, so you know, affects things like med kits yeah. and healing and a lot, a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, we, we know. That's what I was going to ask. Did I? Since you brought it up and didn't explain what the hell you were <laughs> yeah, talking I about. Yeah, I see people, oh, what the hell, man? Dead eye. Uh, uh, Yes. Yeah, so no, there was the issue with Dead Eye, uh, or the issue uh, that appeared uh, like lately in the PTS, uh, especially if you would use uh, Dead Eye and uh, the SVD or some like high rate of fire uh, sniper rifles. And if you use them with the scope, is it the red dot, red dot. Uh, scope? That doesn't actually zoom, but uh, you would still get the dead eye bonus because you're considered as zoomed in, uh, and therefore you wouldn't get the penalty of actually zooming in. Uh, so mm -hmm. you could just like move around and just uh, shoot everything with yes. constant crit. So now we are changing the dead eye, so it only works when with scopes that actually zoom. Yeah, they have this, the scope overlay, so things yeah, like the ACOG exactly. and you know yeah. the, the 12 yeah, times yeah. and the 15 times. And so now it won't work times. anymore with the red dot, for example. Good. Why does the PC version have to wait? 
Because we want to release everything at the same time. Because Yannick wants to. <laughs> Yannick said so. No, I mean, I'm sure there's uh, much. No, because reason. also the reason why is that we are taking the time for submission to also add more server-side uh, fixes and these kind of things. Uh, so if we were to release the PC version now, it might be missing some of the server-side fixes that we will have when we release console, so we will have to update the PC version afterwards. Uh, it's, very, uh, it's very confusing and very... Mm. So I, I see a lot in chat uh, people saying that Deadeye is now useless. I would disagree, and people saying rip snipers, all that sort of thing. I mean, I 100% disagree. The thing is, the way people were using Deadeye with an SVD in particular, it wasn't even a sniper anymore. So I politely disagree. Um, I think it's still going to be very, very powerful with, um, with those zoom scopes, but you'll have to play it like it would be a sniper yep. rather than just a, yep. you know. You, you know what I mean. It's like rip snipers. Don't no. It's actually, <laughs> it's you have to actually zoom in and snipe to actually benefit from the dead eye. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people also asking about like, and and it's not just just now, but a lot of the streams I've been doing recently. They're like, what's happening after the last stand? Uh, all those sorts of things. I mean, I yeah. know that people probably think you know I was playing a holiday. I don't know, that's, that's oh, yeah, no, we're done. <laughs> and then no, we're, like, we're like closing it, and we're like, no, see you. No, Delete channel. No. Uh, and we actually, we mentioned it, but I don't think a lot of people saw that. It was in some, in a dev blog, 1.6 dev blog, Peter? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, we will keep updating the game after last time. It doesn't end there. Uh, now, as to what and like what content, what updates, and all of that, we will give you all the details later on that. But yes, we are not done with the game. So yes. there will be more updates, that's for sure. Good. Fantastic. I'm happy about this. It means that we still have jobs. You can apply for jobs. No, they said we I should be fired because I... Uh, no, no that, that's fireable. You, we do have jobs open, so exclamation jobs in chat. Put your uh, money where your Twitch chat mouth is. Apply for a job. Please. We need more people. Yes. Do it. I'm not even kidding. Like one of them is a community developer job. On yeah. We still have that one open? Yeah. Yeah. We need more people. Do it. Join us. Join us. Join us. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about preparation for 1.6 because okay. there's a few things to go through. Still, people don't seem to know that uh, it's coming on all platforms at the same time, pending a disaster, but, you know, that's, yep. you know. There's no, not the exclusivity like there was before. So, mm -hmm. all platforms at the same time. Uh, and one of the things that I keep getting asked, will weekly caches reward exotics in 1.6? Yes. Yes. There we Save your weekly assignment caches. Do not open them just yet. Okay? What else would you do to prepare Yannick, for 1.6? What else would I do? It's uh, a good question. I think I would... I mean, I still haven't actually farmed for any exotics. So I don't have a bad chess piece. So mm. that's something that you can do because you know that uh, it's still going to be interesting afterwards anyway. Yes, uh, that's true. And it looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool. Uh, okay. I do have. So I mentioned the five million giveaway before, and we got we got cups and all that sort mm -hmm. of stuff. Um, I don't know where we're going to end up. I think it'll be this week. I don't know. You know what? I mean, I think it's probably better if we do the giveaway during the next state of the game. Will you have passed the uh, 5 million? Well, week? we will have passed it then, and then that way most people who are here... We, we have the most viewers at this time, so if people are up for that, we'll do it during the next yeah, day of the game. I think that's good. better, rather than one of my random morning streams where lots of people are sleeping. All right. We can do that. Next day of the game, we'll do a giveaway. And it's going to be awesome. Boom. Yes. That's how we make decisions. <laughs> Look at that. Let's do... Yeah. We'll oh. just do a thing. All right. People say agreed. I agree. Agreed. And you All guys right. are... For as reasonable and nice as you are all of the time, you deserve a giveaway. We appreciate you and we like you. Even, cheers. You can't, you can't really see it. Uh. Ah. See, it says. Yes, there you go. It says. It's the, shiny and everything. The, the division. Yes, there you go. If you haven't seen this yet, it's absolutely awesome. You guys should go over and follow Little Bird on. Here, there it is. Gabe's put the link in. On Twitch, do it. It's fantastic. Um, Yannick and I are going to shut up for about 20 seconds and you get a taste of what we're talking about. 
can we can we roll that? Distinguished guests, members of the Last Man Battalion. I know in the past, the Last Man Battalion has had good intentions, but our direction and focus is misguided and definitely off the mark. Um, New York is in shambles. Um, we need to all stick together and we need to band together to try to save what's left of New York. So everybody go. Awesome. <laughs> so good. I, I, you I can't haven't hear seen it before, so I didn't hear anything. But, but you saw you saw it. It's fantastic. Uh, SMG change applied to legacy slash current. It will be retroactive, right? So it applies the, to all SMGs. Yeah. Yes. So the legacy ones will stay, and everything else will revert yeah, back. Yeah, and to they might chance. they might have their value uh, rerolled to okay. be on par with uh, all the new values, but uh, yeah, it's mm -hmm. completely retroactive. Yeah. Okay. There is a serious talk to have regarding skill power and skill changes. Mm. Yes, uh, because there's been a lot of discussion, uh, a lot of people uh, saying and thinking that we've like, nerfed skill power to the ground and that like, we've killed skills and skill use and all that. Uh, this is definitely not our intention. This is definitely not what we, uh, what we did with the update 1.6. The idea is that we want to make sure to reward people who invest in skill power by giving them powerful skills. And if you are a skill power user, like a very heavy skill power user in 1.5 versus 1.6, your skills are going to be more powerful in, in 1.6. So we haven't killed skill power or whatever. What we have done, though, is change uh, the reward ratio you get for it, which means that if you don't invest in skill powers, yes, your skills are not going to be as good as they used to be in 1.5. Yes. But we need to have this kind of progression to make sure that you have this feeling of, OK, I invested in electronics, I invested in skill powers, in skill power, and therefore my skills are actually really obviously getting, uh, getting a better at that. What that means is that uh, for those that don't have yeah, high skill power, it might be a bit harder for them. It might change a bit the way they have to play the game. Uh, but this is fine. This is like, we would never want that skills are like always useful and always good, even if you don't invest anything in that. Um, yeah. that's, not, that's not how it should be. If you have like a balance build, you should, have, like, you should be OK at a bit of everything but you should never like, completely be relying on your skills more than you have to rely on your gun. Yeah, you still have to shoot stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, and I know that yeah, there's discussion about the cooldown, uh, obviously, that's yeah, because yeah, we made no, skill yeah. power, like you have more powerful skills, but yes, you get uh, the cooldowns have been changed, so the skill power doesn't have as much of an impact on cooldown. Uh, first, yes, uh, make sure to invest in skill haste because it's a very relevant, uh, relevant uh, bonus now, but also, when everybody can just run around with five second cooldowns, then that's just also not fun. That's just also not uh, the way uh, the game is meant to be played. So yeah, someone was also saying, and I think this is a little bit of a misunderstanding, that destructive as a talent will be useless in PvP now. That's not true. People still have armor. Yeah, people still have armor. And destructive still applies to that armor. Yes. It may be less powerful, but it's. I mean, it was very very powerful before, but it is uh, still a very 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 good talent. It's basically a flat DPS increase in PvP. Yeah. So. Well, it's uh, not useless, at least it still works. No, exactly. Uh, the level 34 extended magazine crafting bug is fixed. Yeah. In 1.6. Yeah. Uh, that won't retroactively apply to things that have been crafted using that recipe, mm -hmm. correct? We need to double check that, but I don't think so. It's unlikely. No, I think, I think you'll have to. No, you'll have to, you'll have to uh, recraft. Yeah. But level 34 extended magazine crafting blueprint will give you the appropriate values. Give away next state of the game, and I'm sure by then maybe we'll have more to talk about, do you think? Yeah, I think next state of the game, hopefully we have an update on Although update. <laughs> it's probably just going to be... But it's going to be you, because I won't be here. Though. What? Again? Yeah, I'm again not here. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm a busy man. man. Oh, great. Yeah. All right. All right. We're out. Later. See you.